Welcome to Satu Carry Online Nursing Channel. You are watching Nursing Quiz for Nursing Officers and Nursing Aspirants. In today's video, we are going to discuss 30 questions from various disciplines of nursing science. Let's go for the first question of the day. It's a quiz time. So you have to find the answer for all the questions. All the answers are given in the comment box but don't see those answers right now at the end of the quiz you can verify the answers which you have given and the answers which i have given in the comment box let's proceed with the first question of our quiz a client has a dementia of the alzheimer's type and confabulates the nurse understands that this client Option A. Fails in memory gaps with fantasy. Option B. Denies confusion by being jovial. Option C. Pretends to be someone else. Option D. Rationalizes various behaviors. Now, guess the right answer for this question. The right answer is option A. Fails in memory gaps with fantasy. Let's go for the second question. Dyspomania is related to option A, compulsion to drink alcohol, B, impulsive stealing, C, compulsion to have sex, option D, compulsion to smoking. Dyspomania is related to the right answer as you guess, option A, compulsion to drink alcohol. Question number three. The extra energy allowances needed per day during pregnancy is Option A 150 kilocalorie B 200 kilocalorie C 300 kilocalorie D 550 kilocalorie Guess the right answer The extra energy allowances needed per day during pregnancy is Option C 300 kilocalorie if your mother is in lactating, then she needs 550 kilocalorie per day extra as dietary allowances. Question number four. Glossitis is due to the deficiency of option A, niacin, B, riboflavin, C, thiamine, D, vitamin B12. This question has two answers. Two answers are very close. Among these four, you can select that too. Yes, glossitis is due to the deficiency of riboflavin as well as vitamin B12 specifically. Question number five. Feed given to the infant in the absence of breastfeeding is called as option A, supplementary food, B, artificial food, C, weaning, D, all the above. Here all the answers are very close. The very close answer you need to choose. The right answer is option B, artificial food. Question number six. The terminal portion of the large intestine is option A, duodenum, B, ileum, C, rectum, D, colon. The terminal portion of the large intestine is Yes, the correct answer is option C, rectum. Question number 7. Which of the following artery supplies blood to the eyes? Option A, internal carotid artery. Option B, left arc. Option C, right subclavian artery. D is external carotid artery. Yes, yes, the correct answer. The right answer is option A. Internal carotid artery supplies blood to our eyes. Question number 8. In additions crisis, the following is seen. Option A. Hypernatremia. B. Hyperkalemia. C. Hyperglycemia. Or D. Hypertension. Yes, guess the correct answer. In addition crisis, you may note down hyperkalemia. Option B is right. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन द फॉलोइंग और रिकग्नाइज इन्फेक्शन कॉसेस ऑफ इजनोफिलिया एक्सेप्ट द फॉलोइंग और रिकग्नाइज इन्फेक्शियस कॉसेस ऑफ इजनोफिलिया एक्सेप्ट सो एक्सेप्ट मलेरिया ऑल अदर थ्री लाइक एस्कैरियाजिस लॉम्ब्रिकॉइस फिलेरियासिस स्ट्रॉन्ग गेलाडोसिस all causes infectious eosinophilia so the correct answer is option a malaria question number 10 drug having narrow therapeutic ranges option a lithium b sertraline c robaxetine d dothapine which drug is having a narrow therapeutic range the right answer is option a lithium question number 11 which of the following is not transmitted by lice option a trench fever b relapsing fever c q fever and d epidermic typhus which fever is not transmitted by lice the right answer is option c q fever move on to next question respiratory distress syndrome in premature infant is due to inadequate secretion of which one of the following lipids option a dipalmitoyl phosphatidylcholine option b sphingomyelin c cholesterol d phosphatidyl inositol the right answer yes option a respiratory distress syndrome in premature infant is due to inadequate secretion of dipalmitoyl phosphatidyl choline next question orchidopexy is done in cases of undescended testes at the age of option a infancy b 1 to 2 years C five years and D is at puberty. Orchidopexy is done in case of undescended testes at the age of yes. Guess the right answer. That is one to two years is right. Option B is right. Question number fourteen. Which which fruit juice helps in preventing urinary tract infection? Option A grape juice. B raspberry. C cranberry. D orange. the fruit juice which helps in preventing urinary tract infection is option c cranberry 15 about 25 percentage of maternal deaths are due to option a infection b obstetric hemorrhage c unsafe abortion d eclampsia guess the right answer 25 percentage of maternal deaths are due to option b obstetric hemorrhage question number 16 normal body mass index is option a 18.5 to 24.99 b 15 to 18 c 25.0 to 29.99 option d greater than 30 the normal body mass index the right answer is option a 18.5 to 24.99 17 graves disease is the most common cause of option a hypothyroidism b hyperthyroidism c thyroiditis d none of the above graves disease is the most common cause of guess the right answer option b hyperthyroidism is the correct answer question number 18 The most common cause of pleural effusion is option A cirrhosis B ventricular failure C malignancy D pneumonia the most common cause of pleural effusion is option B ventricular failure is the most common cause next to cirrhosis sorry cirrhosis is the second common cause of pleural effusion first is ventricular failure or heart failure option b question number 
hemorrhagic rashes or seeming option a malaria b enteric fever c meningococcal infection d pneumonia hemorrhagic rashes or seeming the right answer is meningococcal infections question number 20 signs of diabetic ketoacidosis is option a loss of sweating b depression c dehydration and the absence of deep tendon reflexes which is the cause of which is the sign of diabetic ketosidosis the right answer is dehydration occurs due to polyuria is the sign of diabetic ketosidosis here question number 22 21 is not here so go to question number 22 symptom of hypoglycemia is Option A sweating, B bradycardia, C chest pain, D breathlessness. The hypoglycemia symptom among these four. Guess the right. The right answer is sweating. Option A is the right answer. 23. Cause of polyuria is option A hyperglycemia, B hypoglycemia, C decreased fluid intake. D. Hypocalcemia. The polyuria is due to. The right answer is hyperglycemia. In diabetes mellitus, we can see polyuria as the cardinal symptom. 24. Hyperthermia is defined as option A. Core temperature above 40 degrees Celsius. B. Core temperature above 41.50 degrees Celsius. Option C, elevated temperature that normalizes with antipyretic drugs. Option D, uncontrolled increase in body temperature despite a normal hypothalamic temperature setting. The right definition for hypothermia is option A, core temperature above 40.0 degrees Celsius. Question number 25. Sign of shock is option A, hypotension. B. Bradycardia, C. Polyuria, D. Chest pain. The right answer is hypotension. Option A is the exactly right answer. Hypotension is the sign of shock. Question number 26. Manifestation of nephrotic syndrome is option A. Syphilis, B. Hypotension, C. Hematuria, D. Polyuria. The manifestation of nephrotic syndrome is option c hematuria micro micro hematuria is yes, microcytic hematuria is more common 27 dermis is involved in the option a first degree of bones b second degree of bones c third degree of bones d fourth degree of bones the right answer burns is involved in the second degree of burns option b is correct 28. The most common indication of liver transplantation in adult is Option A. Portal vein thrombosis B. Cirrhosis C. Biliary atresia D. None of the above The most common indication of liver transplantation in adult is The right answer is Option B. Cirrhosis Question number 29. ERCP Endoscopic retrograde is ERCP is uh, used in diagnosis for option A. Option A pancreatic and biliary duct dilatation, B peptic ulcer, C CS stomach, D second there is liver, which is the most common uh, diagnosis used uh, uh, ERCP. Option A is the right answer. Pancreatic and biliary duct dilatation is the exactly right answer. And come to the next question. Sample collection of renal tuberculosis. Sample collection for renal tuberculosis. Option A. Single early morning urine sample. B. 24-hour urine collection. C. 3 random urine collection. And D is three morning samples of urine. Guess the correct answer here. 
the right answer is option d three morning samples of urine should be collected to assess the presence of any bacteria that's the end of this quiz competition hope you got out of 30 you got more than 2025 20, soon we will see the next uh, 30 questions uh, in tomorrow we will see that thank you bye bye